Every single morning you wake up and then you have to make choices. Every single day you have to decide how you want to feel, what you want to do, what kind of mindset you have, how you want to think about yourself, how you want to think about your life. Today I have to make choices. I have to decide what I want to do and how I want to feel about it. And I tried to reach out to one of my friends being like, hey, do you want to do something? And she was like, no, she doesn't have time. So what I did was I asked another friend and she was like, no, not today. I'm at this. She's actually at a festival. I'm not in the mood to go to a festival right now. It's a few days before my period. I don't really want to be a around a lot of people and just party. Mm -mm, no, no, no. So what do I do? I can either stay at home, do nothing and feel like I'm missing out because it's a beautiful summer day. Actually, I should be outside. So what do I do? I'm going to take myself on some solo dates and I'm gonna bring you with me. And I'm really excited about this. So my choice today is I'm gonna date myself. I'm gonna get myself ready. I'm gonna feel my absolute best. I'm gonna give myself a main character energy and then I'm gonna go and date myself. Let's go. Solo dates and spending time on your own feels really out of comfort zone. It feels really awkward, especially the first times when you're doing it. When I took myself on solo dates at the very, very beginning, I felt so awkward. I felt so uncomfortable, so unconfident. I constantly thought, Ah, oh, other people are staring at me and they look at me and damn, what do they think about me? Like a girl sitting there alone, she not have any friends. I just made all these thoughts up in my head and the actual truth is that nobody cares. Nobody around you cares, except maybe there is someone staring at you and they think, damn, she's so cool. She goes out by herself. She's sitting there by herself and she just nails it, just being by herself. And I think being by yourself is so important because you can learn so much about yourself and you spend time on your own you can learn so much about who you are and what you truly want in life that's why i love solo dates honestly first of all they make you feel so much more confident they make you feel so much more independent and that's what it is about like you can do whatever you want to do in life just by yourself and nothing should stop you honestly i love going on solo dates and the more often you do it the more comfortable it gets i promise Quick reminder before we get ready, stop caring what other people think of you. Life is too short. Life is too short to constantly worry about what other people might say about you, what they think about you. Don't worry, like it's your life and like it seriously doesn't matter what other people are thinking of you. Yeah. Rule number one when going on a solo date, you have to treat yourself as if you would go on a real date, which means you have to get your hair done, you have to get your makeup done. Imagine you're gonna meet someone, but instead of meeting someone, you meet your, your inner self, you meet your truest, authentic self. You date yourself, like you should look and feel your absolute best. So put on some makeup, wear something that you really love, something you feel really comfortable in, but just for yourself. This is for no one else except for yourself. I'm preparing for a solo picnic. This is something I've never done. This whole summer I haven't done a picnic, not even with anyone else. So it's time to use the last months of summer here in Berlin for a Berlin Park picnic. I'm prepping some strawberries. I have these protein balls here, some other snacks. I bring one muffin with me, but some strawberries. Put them in here. I haven't decided yet which park I'm gonna go. Hmm. Anyways, I will have a beautiful picnic. Whoa. I'm so happy that I'm so small because otherwise I could not go. This is crazy. Wow, this is so much fun. Hmm. There's so much to look at. 
People driving with the bicycles. What are all the people doing here in the park? You know what we used to do when we were younger? We would always do this, like we would completely circle in and then we would let go. Oh my God, I'm already throwing up. And then we would do this. Oh, oh my God. Oh. I'm done here. <laughs> I found the perfect spot to set myself up for a successful picnic. What do you need for a picnic? I think a lot of snacks, a big blanket or a big towel where you can sit. This is just my blanket from my couch. I also brought a journal to write, water. I brought everything in these tupper boxes. Hmm. Has someone else with a camera. Is he also filming a YouTube video? <gasps> He's coming. SOS. Mm. Usually when I travel, like when I'm on holidays or vacation mode, then I would do things like that. I would go to the beach. But at home, I never make the time. Not even on weekends. There's always something else to do. I also made muffins the other day. This is a tzucchini feta muffin made with some flour. Also tzucchini, feta. Mm. This solo date idea gets a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I 10 out of 10 recommend to go on a picnic by yourself. Bring a book. I mean, first of all, bring something to eat, bring snacks, drinks, bring something to read, bring a journal and just sit here. Or you don't even have to do something. You can get lost here and bored and just watch other people. Just sit here and do nothing. In the city, this is kind of like your garden where you would come instead of being in your own garden. This blows my mind. In the village where I grew up, we all would have our own little garden and we would chill there and we would line bikinis there and get tanned. Here, they just come to the park and they sit in the bikini in the park. That's so damn crazy. Hmm. Are you more like a city person or are you more a country person? City girl or country girl? I think I'm a city girl, even though I grew up on the village and like on the countryside of Austria. I just like how convenient cities are. You can grab, I don't know, eggs by just walking three minutes to a supermarket. I could not do that where I grew up, definitely not. You need to step into the car and drive for 20 minutes to the next supermarket. It's so convenient. Everything is here and especially in Berlin, I don't know. There's so much you can do. It has so much to offer and so many different things, which is so exciting. I hope you all can come to Berlin one day. You should see Berlin. Maybe you already live in Berlin, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But Berlin is a cool city. Also for singles, there are actually a lot of singles here. A lot of people living alone. A lot of people living this single life. Mm. Right, I'm grabbing a coffee next. Hi. Hi. Can I have a decaf iced Americano? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> An iced Americano decaf because I don't want to want to drink any other caffeine anymore. There's also this ice cream shop, so I got an iced coffee and now I also want some ice cream. I feel like in every single video I'm eating ice cream. What's wrong with me? Oh, it's summer. They have so many options. I checked the other thing. Oh, but that is not vegan. Hi. Hi. I'm ready. <laughs> um, einmal Lemon, Zitrone, einmal Erdbeere und in so einem Becher. Dankeschön. Thank you. Schönen Tag. Guess what? You can eat the spoon. You can eat the freaking spoon. Mm. Mm. 
I am back. It's already evening. I was walking around. I had the best picnic. I had the best ice cream. I'm happy. I'm happy chappy. But there is one more thing that I would love to do tonight. I never, never ever had been brave enough to go to the cinema by myself. I'm gonna do it tonight. Come to the cinema with me. I love cinema, I love movies, and it's an open air cinema. The whole summer I'm dreaming about this and I get so excited when I think about it. So I'm gonna buy the ticket. I'm gonna do it. We are buying this ticket and then literally no excuses. Then I have to go. Then I really have to go. <gasps> Click, click, click. This literally took me, it took me not even two minutes to get this ticket. I've got it. 8.30, one ticket. Whoa, I'm so excited. <laughs> Before I leave, I want to eat a tiny little dinner, something, because otherwise I will be there and I will be really hungry. I mean, I can get popcorn, but I also want to eat something proper before I leave. Hmm. I have some leftover chili sin carne. It's vegan. I'm eating this chili sin carne since three days. <laughs> I made a huge portion. I'm adding an avocado. Mmm. Another leftover muffin. They're so good. Mmm. Mmm. Some homemade pink pickled onions. Wow. I made them yesterday. The easiest thing ever. Apple cider vinegar, onions. You can add a tiny bit of salt, sugar. Done. Easy. Then I have some coriander. Now I really can't romanticize it to the fullest. I, now it's just about time. Oh wow, I'm so excited for this dinner. A little bit of feta. Feta or feta, I never know. Okay, this is it. And then I might drink some more water because I feel like I haven't had enough water today. Even though I was carrying my water bottle with me, I feel like I need a bit more. Um, small popcorn, salty, and a sparkling water. Thank you. Danke, thank you. Every girl has a dream. I want the perfect wedding, and I want my father to give me away. Look at my baby, your whole life ahead of me. Every family has a secret. And I have three possible fathers. Oh my god. I used to have fun. Oh, we know. <laughs> I'm back from my cinema date and this was one of the best things that I have done in a very very long time. As you know I love movies. I'm obsessed with going to the cinema and watching movies and I definitely want to go more often in future. I really want to do it. I mean now Doing it outside was really special. The whole vibe was very, very special. I don't know if I recommend the movie. It was a bit too crazy for me. It was called Love Lies Bleeding. Love Lies Bleeding. Very intense movie, very, very intense. If you like to see people fighting and shooting and killing other people and uh, yeah, like it's it's really crazy. Um, if you like to see a lot of blood, then this movie is right for you. It was very, very hmm, hardcore. <laughs> but I, I loved it still. I loved the whole experience. I got my popcorn, I had some other snacks with me, and I felt so good. I felt so safe, I felt so... Ah, in peace with myself. 
makes me just so happy makes me so happy and maybe to me this is extra special because the last years i wouldn't have done things like that i was always so extreme team and it's not that i'm not extreme anymore i still love to do extreme things but i'm moving more and more away from this black or white thinking the last years i thought if i want to be into the fitness thing if i want to be healthy then i have to go all in then i cannot go out and eat popcorn i also have to sleep eight hours so i I cannot be out after 9 p.m. That's what that was the way that I was thinking. I was limiting myself. I was isolating myself. I was not doing anything. I was just restricting and just being way too extreme. And now I slowly, I feel like I start to live again and it feels so good. And I also want to inspire you to, first of all, stop the black or white thinking. A healthy, happy life is about balance. Balance really feels so good. I'm, I'm non-stop happy. Happy because I'm in balance. I'm non-stop happy if I do all these things next to working hard and oh, training training for a marathon you can do all these extreme things and you can be successful and you can be whatever you want to be but you can also live a balanced life and it's a happier life i promise don't forget to wash your neck <laughs> how to end the solo date day a solo date day. This was a full day of solo dates. How to end it? With a solo sleep. I'm not gonna lie. I love to sleep alone. <laughs> I really like it. I really love it. Having the whole bed for myself and nobody's next to me snoring. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. I really hate that. Nobody next to me is doing weird movements. Do you know these people in the middle of the night? I don't know. They start to do something like... <laughs> like... Mm. I hate that. Or when they just constantly moving. Yeah. That's the good side of sleeping alone. The bad side is you have to fall asleep alone. You have to wake up alone. You don't have anyone to cuddle right now. It all has pros and cons. I hope you all loved today's video. I hope you all got inspired to do a little bit more by yourself, to get out, to be off your phone and just simply enjoy life and do the things that you want to do without waiting for someone to call you and be like, hey, do you want to do this? You can get up yourself and you don't need anyone for the things that you want to do. I just showed you a few examples today. Go for a walk, grab a coffee, grab some ice cream somewhere, go to the park and make a picnic or just go to the cinema. It's it's a really nice experience. Really, it's a really, really nice experience. I want to do more. I want to do more by myself, with friends, maybe with a future boyfriend. I just want to live life more. Live life in balance and be present every single day. Don't wait for a tomorrow or... Wow, I don't know, like, I want to be there in the next five years. Yes, I want, I have goals, I have dreams, I have things I'm working on, but I also want to be more present in everyday life and just do what I want to do. Guys, ich hab euch lieb. Ich hab euch lieb. That's German and it means that I really like you, that I love you guys and that you all have a special heart in my place. Ich hab euch lieb und ich geh jetzt ins Bett. That means I love you and I'm gonna go to bed now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. It's time for a hug because you deserve a hug and I just want you to know that you are loved no matter where you are in this world. You are loved. Big hug. And good night, team. Ich hab euch so lieb. So lieb. So lieb. Schönes. That's also German and it means have a good night, sleep well, and I hope you have some cute, nice, wonderful dreams. Dream big. <laughs> Bye.